Today I'm going to show you how to do fly stitch. So I've got my thread, two strands of stranded cotton in my needle and a simple knot at the end of the thread. I'm going to come through the fabric from the back, pull it through until I can feel that the knot is there. And then with the hand that's not holding the needle, with that thumb I'm just going to hold the thread in place. I'm inserting my needle again on a level where I came through the first time. And then I'm going to slant my needle down like that. You can see as I pull the thread tight that that's formed a V-shaped stitch and I want to secure that stitch so I'm going to do with my needle go back through the fabric just at the bottom of the V which will create a small stitch at the bottom to hold the V in place. I'll just do one more like that to show you. So I'm coming through from the back and holding that thread in place Going back through the fabric on the level where I came out, slanting the needle down to make another V shape, and then putting my needle just underneath the bottom of the V so that I hold the V in place. That's going to stay steady, will not go anywhere. So you can do isolated fly stitches like that. It would be quite nice for the wing of a bird or the front of an owl or just as a decorative stitch. You could do them in rows uh, horizontally or rows vertically. And if you decide to do your fly stitches in the vertical row, one thing you can do is you can extend the length of the little stitch at the bottom. So if I do my first one like this, and do a slightly longer stitch like this. So the little short one to hold the V in place. I can then do my next stitch like this. Give this one a long stitch and you can see that I can make what looks like a continuous row of decorative stitches. I'll just do one more. And that is fly stitch.